So you've got a set of universal fender flares and you decided you wanted to hide these dimples in the rivets. You could go about bondoing and blending it into the body panels, but you may want to or may have to remove these for situations like removing the front bumper or side skirts. So what do you do? Well, I'm gonna show you how I dealt with that problem. Stick around and hang out with me while we take these flares from this to this. Let's get started. With the new wheels and tires, they're much wider. They stick out like six inches past the quarter panel. The only universal flares I could find readily available that would even be close to the width and also fill in the gap where I extended the wheelbase were these. Uh, they're meant for a full-size car. So when putting it up to here, you can see this front end right here. It just goes way too long for my liking and it just doesn't fit the car well. So the first objective is to trim these to still achieve what I need, but with as little on the front as possible. So I plan on using the original holes from the last revision of the flares I had on, just as a reference point, as I know I can't go any further back without filling all these riv nuts and rewrapping the panel, which I'm trying to avoid doing all that. So if you can see that white dot there, that's a common reference point. I measured that on both sides of the car. That's gonna be where I'm gonna drill the first hole and use that to pivot and measure the rest of the holes. So I drilled one hole in the corresponding spot on the flare. I'm gonna attach it right at that point. So I'm gonna use these four riv nuts as a reference point to make the line that I can't cut past. I'm gonna put some bolts in these holes and put paint on them, and then I'm gonna press the flare against it to make dots on the back side that I can use to make the line. All right, I removed the flare after pressing it against those painted bolts. You can see in the camera here, those white dots are the reference points now. So basically I just have to draw an arc going from the bottom all the way through to try to get it to blend into the original configuration of the fender. All right, using those dots and a couple other measurements, I was able to draw a line that roughly matches the arc of the flare. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with the Dremel tool and rough it out and then sand down the edge to make it perfectly smooth. All right, I got the flare back on the car. It's starting to look better already. I put some white dots where I want to put new dimples to put the bolts through. I also put a white line here so I can cut a hole for the fuel door. So the next couple things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make new dimples. I'm gonna use this, with, heat it up with a torch and try to just press them in. And then I'm gonna cut this recess out for the fuel door. All right, next I'm gonna cut the fuel door recess. I'm gonna cut it a little bit shallow so that way when I fold it in with some heat, it'll fill in the gap between the body and the fender flare. So next I'm gonna use a heat gun to get this part really soft and I'm gonna use some kind of shape similar to that of the door to roll it back. Let's we'll see how well that works. that's secure, I'm gonna drill the rest of the holes. All right, so I've gone ahead and prepped the flares, put tape on the inside of them so that if any epoxy goes through, it won't get on the car. Also cleaned up the holes, sanded them so that they get a little better grip on the epoxy. All right, so I'm gonna start with the front since it's a little bit easier. I'll give you a little warm up before I go fight the rear. I'm gonna punch these machine screws through the tape And I'm gonna put some of these nuts on the back side of these. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some JB Weld plastic bonder, put it on each of the screws, and then tighten them down. All right, these rear flares are gonna be the same as the fronts, but this time I'm gonna be a lot more generous on these places that I did the dimples. All right, so I've got the flares back in the heated garage and I sanded down in the excess epoxy and now we're ready for filler. So Polyvance makes this product called Flex Filler 2. It's a fast curing epoxy that remains flexible after cured, which makes it perfect for what we're doing today. It also makes it really good for plastic bumper repairs. It's just a two-part epoxy mixed equal parts. So now the flare is filled and sanded. Shout out to Esther for helping me out with this. Thank you. Now it's time for wrap. All right, we got the back flare on. Is it perfect? No. Will I probably redo the wrap again? Yeah. But overall, I'm happy with the fitment. So as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on so you don't miss any updates. Have a wonderful day.